Well, hey there team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Team Minus 30. I am very excited to have a look at this, and it just popped up on my radar today. Uh, at the top, I'll just say it's published by Super Hot Presents, which apparently is a publishing arm of the Super Hot guys. <laughs> That's a cool name, sure. But I like seeing this more, more and more. We see this Coffee Stain Publishing is one that comes to mind. Uh, oh, um, even the, the guys that did Hello Neighbor, Tiny Build as well. These companies that have breakaway success with an indie game, then they get, you know, fuck you money basically, and they make a publishing arm to then support other other games. I, I actually think that's a phenomenal uh, business method and, and uh, it speaks a lot to the publisher because they come from games. Anyway, so that's kind of cool that, that this is sort of the super hot guys publishing arm has published this. So what's T-30? So from what I understand, it's a post-apocalyptic earth, you know? Um, not looking so crash hot there. And uh, we're trying to leave Earth and get as many people into bloody spaceships and get out of here. Seems to be like a colony logistics management thing, a la, uh, you know, Factorio, I suppose, su supply and chain management. It has a full seismetric perspective like Atrio, which we covered previously, uh, recently. Um, the, the, the sort of gimmick hook to this is that it's a 30 minute session. It's a 30 minute gameplay loop, which I cannot express louder how excited I am about that, right? Um, I think the, the onset of roguelikes and roguelites, the smaller sessions these days, I think uh, is such a great change for gaming industry. I hate games where it's like, just play it for five hours and it gets good. And to be honest, I'm getting sick of AAA games that take 50 fucking hours to finish, you know? I like Assassin's Creed, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's like 140 hours to get to the end of it. What are you doing, game? A lot of us are quite happy to play a Call of Duty campaign that goes for eight hours and, and just call it done. Um, so this is cool that we're seeing sort of, not necessarily a return to form, but a, a shift away from super long, this this silly idea of, of uh, value for investment, right? Um, it would be, I, I will just also preface this as well. This, I, I, don't under, I don't believe this is actually a roguelike per se, right? Similar to how Battle Royale games aren't roguelikes technically, but they kind of are PVP roguelikes if you think about it. Um, so this will be cool if this is just essentially a self-contained gameplay loop that you play 30 minutes. I guess it is actually roguelike by that definition. I would love to see more games do this, but let's, you know, let's not jump the gun here. I'm excited at what this is promising. That doesn't mean it's going to be good. Let's see what's going on here. The fanciest tutorial. Okay, cool. Generate custom map. I like that as well. An easy start. Okay, so we've got some scenarios here. Oh, all the fanciest tutorial seems like a good place to start. I saw the trailer and it seemed like you can decide to tech up and make super awesome Elon Musk rockets, or you can just make mass produced shitty 1960s era rockets if you want and try and get people out that way. Um, so there's options. You have 30 minutes, the world is ending. In the late 2030s, a whole bunch of asteroids pummeled Earth, and everybody who was smug about how dumb the dinosaurs were for getting wiped out wasn't so smug anymore because they were also pretty dead. Centuries later, as survivors rebuild, there are reports of another wave of asteroids coming, and boy howdy, they're gonna finish the job. Your task is to construct a city, build a space fleet, and flee Earth with as many survivors as you can. You can't save everyone, and undoubtedly the guilt over the millions left behind will weigh heavily on your shoulders. Just do your best. Okay. Um, let's go. Begin. Good luck. Right. T minus 30. Do I, oh, there's my timer. Can I pause it? I can pause with the map, and I can speed up as well. Okay. Yeah, right. Now, you did say you're a tutorial. Are you going to teach me? Oh, here we go. Move around with Wazda. Click and drag. Q and E. To, oh, Q and E zooms out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So can I just click through these? Is that what you're telling me? Or do I... Use mouse wheel to zoom in. Click and drag with the right... Oh, sorry, I didn't do that. Okay, yeah, good. Build a well. Building a well on empty plains tile. Leave some room around it to plant farms later. Okay, well, let's figure out how to build a well. Agriculture. Farms and water services. Well. Generates, distributes a small amount of water which can be used to grow farms. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, let's put that there, right? Uh, grow three farms. Build three tilled land within the range of the well. Wait for the tilled land to grow into farms. Okay, well. T 
tilled land. Fertile land prepared for planting, add water to convert it into a farm. Farms eventually deplete and need replanting, and it uses compost. Okay, so we can't drag that out. That's fine. Oh, you need more compost. B3, uh, free tilled land. All right, so we went a little bit bloody overkill there, but that's okay. All right, maybe we speed that up. There we go. Cool, so it's turned into a farm. Nice. Uh, build a camp next to a road. Camps convert food into work, which flows along roads to work sites. Okay. Okay. Camp. Converts food into work and compost. One food becomes one. Okay, so that's our that's our reverse loop on agriculture or closed loop. Can only place it next to a road. I don't know. Let's put it there. Okay, there's little men running around. That's cool. Look at them go. Converting away. Can I can I put my last tilled land in now? Did I get some? Yeah. Okay. Good. And does the well the well has infinite food left, and then you got to replant. Build a logging site on a forest. One camp produces enough work to run a logging site at maximum efficiency. Uh, okay. The logging site, it makes compost and wood. Place on a forest to generate wood, it requires a small amount of work to function. Depletes over time. Um, here? I need to connect it with a road. Um... How do I build roads? What is that? A quarry? Oh, here we go. There's an actual road button. Let's just do that. No? No? Hang on. Transport road. I can't, I can't, I can't build roads? What's going on, game? Well, my, my brain? My brain trying. Oh, here. Oh, shit. There's uh, there's things here. Bridge, road. Okay, that's that's not the most fantastic visual cue, but that's okay. All right. Looks like the logging camp's working. Build a quarry. You need a quarry to connect the road so it can convert work into stone. Um, it needs two camps to run at maximum efficiency. Okay. Uh, quarry. Place on a mountain to generate stone. It requires work to function. Mountain? Well, I can only really place one thing on that quarry, so I don't know. I don't know how I can increase the efficiency. Efficiency 100%? Efficiency, well, whatever, whatever. Um, so what are these dudes doing? Recharging or something? Or maybe that's like traffic in a way like how many dudes are on that square at the time I don't know um build a look at lookout post to reveal more of the map uh note mountain lookout posts cost more but have greater range okay that's cool uh camp reclamation site um oh maybe it's this lookout post here we go Mountain lookout post. Can only place this next to the road. Oh, so it. Farm needs replanting. Can I just. No, it's depleted. Okay, that's fine. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just do this. Let's just do this like that. Cool. Use the clear tool. Use the clear tool to remove three rocks, scrubland, or junk, and gain some small amount of resources. You can also destroy new structures with the clear tool. Right, so we can do like this. One, two, three. Clearing. Okay, it takes time. Let's let's replant these. Probably got the compost to do it. Okay, build a reclamation site and connect it to the road so that it can convert work into metal and plastic. Needs three camps to run this at maximum efficiency. Oh, camps. That's what it was talking about, efficiency. Oh, okay, look, our efficiency dropped off a bit. Um, okay, so what if we build another camp? Convert food. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just do that. 
and that'll probably get the efficiency will go back up look at that okay now we're now we're going now we're going okay let's build the reclamation site i'm really enjoying this so far place on a skyscraper oh because we're going to reclaim it okay that makes sense uh let's build a road right not a lot of efficiency going on there let's build another camp Build a basic rocket to carry survivors. Rockets save people from doom. Basic rocket. Oh, here we go. Bloody Bonza, let's go. How does that work? Build an advanced rocket. Where is the rocket? Carry even more survivors. You will need to gather a lot of resources, including minerals, to build it. Survivors 400. Your survivors. Can carry 400 survivors and does not require many resources to build. Ah. Can carry... Oh. Advanced rocket. The high tech rocket can carry 12,000 survivors. Requires energy to charge up. Right. Build an advanced rocket to carry even more survivors. Okay, so this is sort of like... Towards the end of it, I guess. Okay, what are we going to need here? We need more stone, that's for sure. Efficiency zero, no good. Now, what's this? An advanced camp? Apartments. Generates more work than a camp, but requires more food. Now, it has to be next to a road. Okay, let's do that. Needs more energy to operate at full efficiency. Okay, hang on. Windmill. Not enough resources. Energy transmitter. Hang on. No, no, no. Explain that to me real quick. Transmits energy to other energy transmitters and powered structures. Place next to an energy source. Okay. So if I were to put this out here. Do I... I don't see an energy statistic. All right, so let's get that transmitter thing up. Ah, this looks promising. There we go, look, we're getting little Zs. Status empty, hang on. Energy capacity reached, cannot generate more. Oh. Solar panels. Is there like a, a battery system? Pump station. Press tab to show. Oh, that's handy. Water tower. Let's just see what else we've got. Renewable forest. Greenhouse. Generates 10 every second. Hang on. Here we go. What's this? Percent of energy demand met. 100%. Needs more energy to operate at full efficiency. Okay, I'm confused, game. Must be connected to road. Energy status empty. Transfers 500 every second. And powered structures. Okay. Like, oh, uh, oh, okay, so they, there we go. It has to touch. It has to touch. That's good. That works. Cool. So now we've got new dudes. We've got efficiency. Oh, hang on. The reclamation thing stopped, so that's cool. Okay, well, where are we at with the rocket program? We need more stone. So let's get another quarry going. Quarry. All right. Let's get some roads. Oh shit, hang on. Got a road problem here. Can I, uh, how do I delete that? Clear tool? You cannot clear this tile. What are you talking about? I want to delete it. I thought I'm allowed to use that to, uh, 
destroy structures. Okay, so I'm not allowed to... Whoa, okay, well, we got to be careful then. That makes this game brickable. So I can clear that. Alright. Alright, we're going max chickens efficiency there. That's good. Alright, we need plastics and we need minerals. Advanced reclamation site. Cool, we need that. We need that. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Need more energy to operate at full efficiency. Oh. It needs power. Okay, hang on. We can we can make that happen. We can work it out. Like that. Yeah? What's going on? Don't, don't they have... A... Oh, you know what? I might have built that just a tiny bit out of the sector. There we go. That's better. Okay. Prog All right. Yep. So that's zipping along. All right. I like this. You've got to be built. Be careful being too compact. You brick yourself pretty easy. Um, let's... All right. There's... Oh, our food's dropping down. Compost required for farms. Okay. What's this? Seeds. Okay. Oh, we've got the stone. Minerals and plastics are coming along. Dude, we might uh we might actually just do this really quickly. There you go, we just need a little bit more minerals. Nice. Look at that. Tutorial. Build an advanced rocket. Done. Done. Oh, survivors 800. Oh! It's keeping track. That's okay. Your survivors 1900. I thought that that was the target that I need to meet. Oh my goodness. For three stars, I need 500,000. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, huh. Okay, okay. Now, can I reclaim? I can destroy them. So I'm not allowed to destroy a lookout post. I wonder why that is. You cannot clear this tile. Is that because of its placement? Hang on, let's... Let's experiment with this. Must be connected to a road. What if I were to put one right out? Okay, so I can't put it out there. Let's experiment because I want to know. I feel like maybe there's a game rule being observed here that I don't know yet. Right, so there's that lookout. So say I want to delete it. I can't delete it. What if I delete the road and then delete it? You cannot clear it. Okay, you know what, actually, now that I think about it, because it's so important to use the lookout towers appropriately, I, yeah, I kind of get why you can't delete them, because I've revealed land. So you could cheat, right? You could just use, like, does the, would the fog of war come back or whatever? Okay. Okay, I see. I see. How long are we into this episode? Um... We've got 15 minutes left sort of thing. Okay, we'll, we'll just persevere with this colony, even though it's a fucking burning pile. <laughs> the absolute hot mess. Okay, so I need a system. I need a system because that's how I am. So let's let's get a roads out here. Road as far as I can. Okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, these need adjacency, don't they? So if we're going to do some sort of Roman road system, um, every two might actually be sensible, right? So if I do something like that uh, road, that might be the smart move. And then lookout towers, was it look, now lookout towers go further if they're on a mountain tile, don't they? Yeah, right. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to have to put, like, I can't put it in there. So we'll put that there. Yeah, okay. It's, he's beginning to understand. He's learning. 
Oh, what's that? Like water? Oh. Place a water filter here to generate minerals. Oh. Farm needs replanting. Okay, well let's let's do that now. This one's probably about to expire as well. There you go. Okay. All my dudes just walking up there, a bit lost, are they? Okay. What is this? Ruins. Remove with clear tool. Can I... Advanced quarry. Can I put a rec reclamation on it? This structure can only be placed on ruins. Or small ruins tiles. Well, that that's a ruin tile. What are you fucking telling me that for, game? Hang on. Place on skyscraper. Can only be placed on ruins or small ruins. Maybe that's a typo. Yeah, because that's not actually ruins by definition, I don't think. See, that actually literally is called ruins. Info. Remove with the clear tool. So I have to... Wait, costs two metal to clear it? Oh. And it takes a little bit of time. Okay, I see. All right. We're struggling in the food department. Now, these apartments make converts food into work okay no we need to make more food so what's going on here improve food source that requires water and energy to function pump station will supply enough water all right build greenhouse Improve food source that requires water. Okay, hang on. Add water to convert into farm. A pump station will supply enough water. Okay. So that's a pump station there. Okay, yep, cool. What's this thing? Generate seeds for renewable forests. Requires a lot of water. Okay. But this makes 10 food a second. And I don't think you have to replace it, which is good. Okay. Um, cool. So what if I put that like there? Now what's your problem? Needs water. Yeah. Water pump next to a river like that. There we go. Efficiency. Needs work. Oh, this game is so good. Okay, what is this? Junk. Remove with the clear tool. Is there a shortcut for the, like, X or something? I don't think there is. All right, remove that. Clear that. We've got full water. All right. All right. All right. Let's start getting some people. We need more work. So you can go there. Boris, we'll put a logging site there. this remove with the clear tool so we have to okay yeah cool now what is this metal synthesizer place on a water tile oh wow plastic absorbs carbon from the atmosphere and turns into plastic that's cool all right okay so we probably need like a, a shipyard as well so what's what's the go with this? This needs seeds. A hundred survivors. A hundred survivors. Converts water into survivors. And carry wait, can carry up to six thousand, carry up to twelve thousand. Let's bloody go. Let's build this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Contains idle workers. Build more workplaces. Oh well that's cool. Okay. Now remove we clear little rocks. So we need metal to clear these things, which is cool. Okay. Let's build a logging camp there. Now, I should be able to run a road into there and clear the logging camp, right? That should be a thing. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. So let's build a lookout tower here. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So what are we missing here? Stone. Need more quarries. Okay, hang on. I can I can facilitate that. Let's let them clear that out. Can I speed up with one and two and all that? I can't. That's okay, it's not the end of the world. Um Quarry. What sort of efficiency are we looking at there? A hundred? I like that. I like that. Okay. Um Plastics and minerals. Okay, cool. Well, hang on. We had a bloody... This thing, right? Metals and minerals makes plastics. Okay, cool. So what do you... Okay. Yeah, right. Advanced reclamation. Oh, we definitely want this. But we need power. Oh, I wonder if I could just build a solar thing there and that would do it. Yeah, there you go. That's working. So that sort of ties it together. Oh, dude, I'm not going to even get two stars. But I was learning I, in my defense, Your Honor. Hang on, can I just delete this without bathing to it? Is that something that works? We'll just wait. I'll just wait to see if it deletes. Okay, that's cool. Let's build another quarry. This game slaps. I really, really like this game. So we're not actually building any sort of seeds, are we? This thing. Aboratum. Is that how you say it? It'll do. All right, what does it need? Needs more water to fully operate. Water capacity reached. Okay. What are we going to do about that? Um, let's delete. No, we probably can't delete that road, can we? We could delete this little house here and we could build a water machine. What is this? Water tower. Distributes water and other, to other water towers. Okay, so that behaves like a... Uh, behaves like the power grid sort of thing, right? Capacity reach. Jeez, does this seed thing just use up a shitload of water? 20 water. That's doing 50. Our energy demand is okay. Hang on. We might have a power problem. They only generate energy to adjacent structures. Oh. Ah. 125%. I like this. The work demand. Water demand, ah, uh, uh, that is very cool. Needs more water to efficiently operate. Status empty. Water capacity reached. Hang on, so why are you not playing nice water? What am I not understanding? Distribute water to other water towers and to the surrounding. Transfers 500 water every second. Did I somehow not put you into that zone or something? Hang on, let's just put this guy here. That might help. 
Status empty. I don't understand. Well capacity reached. Cannot generate more. Efficiency. Are we, oh, are we having an efficiency problem? Percent work demand? Percent work demand. Right, I'm I'm over demanding on my work. I see. What can we do here? Look, look at this big bloody thing. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, wait. Percent of work demand met. I think, uh, I think we're okay. Power-wise, maybe not so much. Okay, that's good. Three minutes left, eh? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why that's not interacting. Oh, needs... Wait, hang on. Needs more water. No, 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 no. What is this? So that's feeding water in. Efficiency zero. It could be that that only goes adjacent. Improve. You know what? I wonder if that's what it is. Hang on. What if... What if this water tower needs to go directly next to the thing? There we go. There we go. Right. So, ultimately, I could delete this house and I could put the water pump there and that should hook my whole grid up. Now we're making seeds. Let's go, boys. What is this? Click to toggle efficiency overlay. Oh. Why is that having efficiency problems? Contains idle workers. Right. Okay. So they're probably overeating ultimately. Yes. Oh, hang on. We can get another ship up. Jeez. Close. All right. What are we missing there? Seeds. Plastics and minerals. Yes, this bloody machine does some sort of thing. Some such. Oh no. Fifty seconds. There we go, so that should be working now. Power needs. Hang on. Hang on. Oh no, can't afford anything. Twenty-seven seconds. Can I get another rocket in? Ooh, I'm, oh, hang on, I can get a baby rocket in. Every little bit counts. The more people I can save, the better. Oh, shit. I just need some more plastic. Oh, here you go, bio ship. Oh, the rockets are taking off. Oh! <laughs> Most survivors ever saved, blast off. All right, okay. That is so good, man. What a great game. It's, oh, I really like that as well. It obviously manifests more as like a puzzle, but um, but yeah, I really, I really dig that actually. I can't wait to do another run now that I have my, uh, you know, my legs under me sort of thing. Let's see. The fanciest tutorial, one stars, an easy start. Okay, so these are just going to be more brutal starts, basically. Nice, 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 nice. So T minus 30, what an absolute slapper of a game. I, I'm really smitten with that one. Uh, let me know what you reckon if you find that interesting. If you want to see some more on the channel, I'd be happy to do some more runs and turn into a bit of a let's play. Otherwise, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.